Let's give a great big hand for Jesus. And Brother Jeff Maggins. I think that's a good one. Thank you, Brother Jeff. Treasure is there will your heart be also. Y'all 
Be seated. Amen. Amen. God is. God has opened the treasure house for each one of us in this place tonight. And you all that have been called to repentance, and you all that have been baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, don't let no damn well of hell take that from you. Because it's going to be the greatest treasure that you're going to ever experience in your life. Amen. Come on, brother. God is a merciful Savior. Yes, He is. And He makes a way where they seem to be none. So if we can learn to trust Him, as He opened up a door here to this church, and come in unity, as Brother Larry and a, and a lot of others have preached to us over the uh, course of two or three years now, that I believe it's line up on line and precepts upon precepts. And he's done exactly what we have prayed about and saw him about. Come on. Now, I don't know exactly what God is going to do here tonight, but I'm going to trust him. Come on, Lord Jesus. And God is more than able. Yes, he is. You know what it says? Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hidden in a field, that which when a man had found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and sells all that he had, uh -huh. and buyeth the field. Yes, he yes. And the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a merchant seeing a goodly pearl, who when he had found one pearl of a great price, went and sold all that he had and brought it. Come on. You know, Jesus Christ is, is the greatest pearl that we're ever going to find. He's the greatest treasure that we're ever going to find. And if we would trust in him, he is going to be able to open up more to us Amen. that we can run and seek him and while he allows in this treasure, he will, he can heal us. Come on, brother. He can set us free from demonic spirits. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. He can set you free from jealousy. Amen. All these things God can do Amen. if we trust him. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Yes. We've got to learn to put our faith yes. and our trust in each other. Yes. And we need to trust the man of God, whether it's me or Brother Larry or any other. And we know, uh, we know that God is working and we we want to be, we want to hear the voice of God. Yes. Yeah. And I I've I've been um, I've been stubborn about some things in life, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fast a little bit up tonight, okay? It's all right. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight against you women no more that cause yourself to preach. Because God can use you. And yes. if God wants you to come on place with somebody, you can do that. You know, why should I fight against what God has got at the end of Amen. I, I was telling Brother Clarence today, I said, I'm not going to fight against it no more. I'm just going to let God be God. And that's the way it is. I, I watch, I go back into YouTube and I watch a woman named uh, Catherine Kuma. I think how you pronounced it. And she she worked the miracles, letting God use her. And but she she told her she would tell you, I'm not no miracle worker. It's God. But Jesus Christ is it's a miracle God. Amen. Amen. So God is going to do it. And if we get in our way, we're not going to be able to get into the treasure house. So I, I, I need a body healed, and, and I'm going to seek God for the healing. Yes. You know, if we want, don't, don't settle for just the Holy Ghost. Come on. Amen. Like some of us have for years. But let God lead you into a deeper depth. Yeah. 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 Let God use you to 
to do what he wants. You know, because we're not our own. We've been bought for the price of the blood. Yes. And I'm thankful. In this treasure house, we're just using this for a demonstration. It, it can't hold nothing to Jesus Christ, but we're just using this so you can see. In this treasure house right here, God has opened the door to repentance to a minute. Yes, he, has. he has opened the door to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on. Come on. He has opened the door to people that needs a healing. Yes. Yes. You know, uh, the other night, uh, Sister Brandon, she said, there's two in here need to pray for for the sugar. And I, I jumped up there because I got bad sugar. I want God to heal me. Yes. But I feel yes. hell so trying to believe that God has healed me. Right. And I know that he can, and I know he will. Yes. We've got to learn to put our faith and trust Amen. in God. Amen. And, you know, um, let me just read a little bit here. It says, Jesus is a treasure that never fails. And remember, for where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. Yes. You know, a lot of people, they try to collect they try to collect everything that ain't going to profit here. Mm -hmm. You know, we need, especially in this hour and this time now, we need to trust God for everything that we got. Because yeah. I believe that, I believe that there's battles coming like we, the church, has never seen before. Yes, sir. And to get through that, we're going to have to trust God. We're going to have to live by the Word of God. And, and let him lead us to where he is taking us to. Uh, God is a, uh, God's merciful. Yes, he is. You know, uh, I think about 23 people have repented in this place in the, in the last few weeks. He didn't have to give you that chance, but he did. Amen. When he did, you all took advantage of it, and God blessed and filled the most of you with the Holy Ghost. Amen. You know, that's what God's wanting to do. God's wanting to do good unto His people. Yes. But He's also wanting His people to do good unto Him. Amen. You know, we need to trust God. Him for His Him. Yes. And just give God praise and glory and honor. You know, when I laid down on that bed that night, I just about to drift off and all that, and God started talking. Uh, I, I, I listened to what he had to say, and and uh, I'm grateful for the treasure. Jesus Christ is one of the greatest things that we could ever have in our life, and I, I, I'm, I'm honored to be a child of the King. I'm honored to be, even though I don't think being honest, I don't think I'm I'm much of a minister or whatever or a teacher of God, but I try my best. And, yes. and I know that God is able to fulfill the mouth to speak on the people yes. the things that they need if they listen. You know, it's, it's not no time right now to try to close the door upon the men and women of God. Just let Jesus Christ open up your understanding that He has put that in their life to help you. Yes. And that, that's the great thing about it. The Word of God is to help us all. Yes. Amen. I said God is our treasure. Yes. Everything that we need, He has it. Amen. I think that's been spoke here before, you know. Yes. It says God brings us out of the world. And He gives us a place to repent so we can say that we're saved. But we're really not saved until we get more unto the end. Amen. And He said, Welcome in thy good and faithful servant. You know, we're going to have battles every day of our life until we make heaven our home. Amen. Uh -huh. It said that, you know, when Moses was standing there at that Red Sea, and the Lord just spoke to him and said, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. God has worked a great salvation these last three weeks or two and a half or whatever we are. Because he has given people a place to be, a place to be taught, and he has made a way. 
And we just got to understand that Jesus Christ ain't going to put nothing up on us that we can't handle. Amen. Even though I, I fight you, I fight what I do here at this church. I fight it, you know. Don't quite understand why I do, but I do. But I just want to be obedience to God. You know, God is, God writes way down below the bottom one time and picked me up. Yeah. And he's made a way for me. And now that, you know, uh, in May I'll be 60 years old and the body starts wearing out. But Jesus Christ has got a healing. He's got things in our life that we need. Yes. Okay. And that's what we need to do. We need to trust him that we can come to him, come, on, brother. come to this treasure, and reach in and get what he's got for us. Come on, I'm thankful to God for his, his love and his mercy. You know, I'm just going to read a little bit here. Then I'm going to let someone else have this. It says, Always he makes a way. He gave them food from heaven, and the rock was Christ, and he gave them water. You know, from the beginning of time, God has stretched down, and he's made a way for people. Yeah. And I don't know about anybody else, but I've been, I've been stubborn. And, you know, I've, I've done things that I know that God wasn't pleased with. Amen. I've talked to God's mercy for granted many a time. But God's still given God. Yes. Amen. But I believe right now in our time, if we ever truly gave God everything about us, it ought to be now. Amen. Time's running out for the church. And we need to give Him praise and glory and honor. Amen. We not, need not let the devil steal Come what on. God has given us. Amen. You know, we, we uh, God is a merciful Savior. And all I want to do is stand in the gap and, and for someone else's family member that needs saved, you know, um, besides hubby, I, I guess nobody else has come in my family. But I'm grateful for the ones that came through y'all's family. You know, because you all are my brothers and sisters. And that's what it's all about. We need to love each other. Amen. More, really more than natural family. That's right. We need to have the love of Christ in us. We need to let God use us as he sees fit. Amen. And we need to let God just be God in our walk with him. That no matter what happens, he will deliver us from things that... The Satan may try to bring up on us. Come on. And, uh, you know, I just want to say that God is, uh, he's a merciful Savior. Yes. I love him. It said God made a way for them. He came down to, and, and here's, here's one thing we, we are really thankful for. Jesus Christ came down and he paid a debt for us that we can never pay. Man. There wouldn't be enough goats and cattle, turtle doves. There wouldn't be enough of it in the world to pay for the sin of mankind when Jesus Christ came here. Yeah. But he came here to pay that debt for us. That's how much he loved us. Yes, yes. You know, that's a great thing that we got a Savior that loves us enough to die. He died on the cross, and I'm thankful for that. It says... He went to the whipping pose for our healing. You know, Jesus stood there and they, they beat the flesh off of him. Yeah. And could we do that for someone? I mean, you don't have to answer that, but I would say not. I just, I really would say not. Because unless God just gives us something more than what we got in us, we couldn't stand it. And, you know, that's just what God is. God made a way where they seem to be there. He took half with them, and, and it's there. 
We don't. I don't believe we even got to be sick if we could trust God enough to say, would you give this to me, Father? Amen. You know, yeah. we just need to act yes. sincere. Yes. <laughs> Let God be God in our life. Yes. And say, Lord, heal me. Thank you, heal my brother, yes. my sister. Come on, brother. You know, that's what it's all about. Come on. It says, it says they buried him, and the third day, Three days later, he rose from the dead, and he walked. You know, he could have died. He could have died, and if he never rose, then he would have broke his promise to us. But he rose just like he said he would. Amen. That's right. wow. yes. And he sent the Holy Ghost back just like he said he would. Yes, he this is for all of us. Amen. You know, there's a lot of church people that calls themselves church people. You can't talk to them about salvation, uh, the gift of the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. They don't understand it. But God can give you understanding if you seek Him. And that, let's see, let us see what is in God's treasure. Galatians 5 and 22. Alva. Out of Jesus Christ, or out of the treasure house, there cometh love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Amen. Well, you know, some of these takes a little longer to get. Yeah. You know, uh, God worked on me a long time on some of them. I don't know exactly why, why I held on to them so long, but He did. I did. And uh, but after I let go of them, I, uh, now I may slip up one day and get mad, I don't know, but if I do, <laughs> just forgive me. But, you know, I try not to talk to people like I used to. I try to not get angry like I used to. Because when you get that way, all you're going to do is get out of the will of God. That's right, and amen. You're going to mess up. Yeah. But I'm thankful for where God has brought me from, Amen. even in the last three years. To, or going into fourth year, Brother Larry, to get here, I've, I've learned a lot. And I've learned Amen. that God has got everything under control. Yes. Yes. You know, we ain't supposed to uh, fight against each other. We're not supposed to do those things. We should come uh, in unity. Every time we come into the house of God. Amen. And that way God can, you know, uh, yeah. He can use us for whatever. Amen. First Corinthians, it talks about spiritual gifts. Uh-huh. You know, we we believe in them, uh-huh. but do we seek after them? Come on, come on. So, come on. Why don't we seek after things that's going to help us to help someone else? Come on, come on. And that's what God told me. You know, there's a word of wisdom, words of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the workers of a miracle, gift of prophecy, gift of discernment, divers kinds of tongues, an interpretation of all the works through the Holy Ghost. These all work and come through and by the Holy Ghost. Yes, yeah. There ain't no excuse for not seeing them come effective Amen. in our church now. Amen. That so many people here has got the Holy Ghost now. Amen. You know, uh, God can use That's right. whosoever He will. Yeah. And let's just believe it and write. Let's just true, do what God wants us to do. Amen. And let us be able to pray and seek it, seek God with great understanding that God, you are making a way for this church, not only this church, but the church. Yes. And you know, God is more than able to move for us. Mm-hmm. And I'm thankful. I, I truly am thankful that God has really touched me and helped me to do a little bit. I'm grateful to Brother Larry that he allows me and others to work in this church. Yeah. You know, you long years ago, and I'm not going to say who, you know, you're not called to do this. 
Amen. You're not called to do that. So who who gives anybody else the right to say, you've got that right? You know, God's got all the right. We're his children. Yeah. If he calls us out, where it's prophecy, the gift of mercy, or whatever it is, that's God. Yes, it is. God made a way. Amen. And that's what it's all about. We need to stand true to the word. Come on, man. I wrote here, I said, make God your greatest treasure. Yes. Meaning to put him first, first. in your life. Yes. yes. If you put him first in your life, everything that you need, not want, Come on. but need, yes. he's going to supply every need. Yes. That's the kind of God he is. He's a God that won't lie. And I'm thankful. It said God wanted us to give up uh, our own wish, wishes and desires to seek and follow him. It said, when we are lost and God spoke to our hearts, we answered him. And we started laying off the world things and putting, uh, putting in us the things that are God. We've got to learn in this life, the more you lay out for God, the more he's going to work for you. Amen. There's things in your life that you may not think is sin that could be sin. Yeah. We we hear it preach here a lot, lay off all the weights and the sins that do easy to set us. You know, and that's what it's all about. We've got to lay off things that is going to hinder us from getting closer to God. Yes. And this led the Lord uh, use, uses, uses. He's used people. And I know, uh, I don't get up and do uh, a lot, you know, unless the Spirit gets upon me, because I've let this foot hinder me, which that ain't no excuse. Uh, God's able to give me the strength. Yes, and I'm thankful, but. The last thing God spoke to me was that night. I'm a, I want Josh to come up here. Anybody else that feels really led to pray. And if you if you didn't get healed already, but I don't even know if this is for him. Maybe it would be for a peace of mind. I don't know. But I want Brother Larry and Sister Jamie and Brother Brett and sister died to come up and get prayer. God never told me what was going on. But whatever it is, he's going to do it. Amen. Believe me. What you, if you need a healing in your body, let God heal you. You need a peace of mind tonight, let God give you a peace of mind. God is more than able if we trust him. Yes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to trust God to move.
we're going to be in so much trouble. I just want to yield to that voice and follow that voice. This right here is what when we obey the voice. She's just wanting to obey the voice. I, I feel that right now. She just wants to obey the voice, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord, my God. Lord, we know, God, what's going on. We know that you know all things. Jesus, we don't have to know. God, this flesh body don't have to know. But Lord, there's a Holy Ghost on the inside. There's a Holy Ghost on top. Oh, shut up. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch God. Touch Lord. God, I love a whole Satan of Ohio. The voice, God, the voice that's in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we praise you, we magnify you. We thank you, Lord, for your word, Jesus, that has came here tonight to touch Lord our sister, God. You sent your word to heal us, Lord. And we praise you, God, here tonight for what you're doing, for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your blessings, God. Let's praise him. Let's magnify him.
I am tired. But what's it going to be? You know, it just blessed me. I've seen so many filled with the Holy Ghost here that have prayed and cried and prayed and cried. And I was telling my nephew today, I said, if you just come back to God, he's a backslider. I said, if you come back to God, I said, I've seen them come up here and, and people's witness in five, ten minutes they'd be filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't know why it takes, it's sometimes longer for others. I don't know why. It don't mean that you're not going to receive it. I'm talking about being filled with it. It don't mean you're not going to get filled with that Holy Ghost. And in this, I want to say something, not to say anything against what Brother Pastor White said, but he spoke something to us that's true. And Lord, it's kind of like not trying to back out of what he said, but I want you young ones to take heed to that. Because right now, say, just say, for instance, in this revival, it's going to go on the next four services. If we dance and shout all over this, you better eat that. Because I heard a pastor once, another pastor white, Elder Butch White, I heard him, I know where I was at. He said, there is a danger. That's right. God said something, and we, we just take things lightly. But there is a, get everything you can get, can all you can get. You feel the press of God. You run. You know how children are. Just run, scream, and in the Holy Ghost, do all that. But there is a danger when revival's over. So, say if it's over Sunday, you got Monday and Tuesday before Wednesday gets here. And in that, you got to know that you got to walk by faith and not by shout. You gotta walk by faith, not by dance. And I'm not saying in no wise you can't shout and dance. I shout in my house. Amen. I dance on that mountain by myself in Jesus. I fell from out the leaves in the Holy Ghost. So what I'm trying to say is, it's important what he said. We just gotta grab it. I believe God has sent us the word in this revival to sustain us because there's a battle coming. Go, go read our word, Elijah. He got sustained. There was a battle coming. He's fixing to go up against a bunch of devils. God's equipping us with the Holy Ghost. You're fixing to go up against a bunch of devils. So get ready. Read and pray. Study your word. Keep that Holy Ghost stirred up on the inside of you. Don't tell about it. You run into anybody that says you don't have to speak like that. You get on your knees and call unto God and say, Lord, stir me up. And if you ain't got, if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the next four services, I'm going to tell you what, if we don't have it, Start talking to God. Just tell him. I talk about it at home. Don't just don't wait till you get to the church house. Amen. Tell him at home, say, Lord, I want the Holy Ghost. I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. You look here, they some of you, husband and wives. One of you may have it, the other may not. Say, Lord, you filled him or you filled her, feel me. Take him at his word and say, Lord, you said you ain't no respecter person. You said that if I come and pray, and I did, Lord, and I've been baptized in the name of Jesus, you said the promise is unto me. So, Lord, look here, take him at his word. Take him at his word. Amen. And if there's things, I'm going to say this here, we'll let you go. If there's things happen here tonight that any of us did not understand, go read the book of Peter and remember where you came from. Amen? Because here's where I'm at. Somebody allowed me to exercise. Somebody allowed me. So, Pastor ain't backing up. 
I'm going forward. And I'm learning from Jesus. When he teaches me and he speaks to me, I'm just going to say, yes, Lord, do your work. And then we're going to see results. And I'm talking about real results. Genuine results. That's what it's going to take with Ruby. You hold right in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, Y'all first come here. I have a picture way around all. Play blue. You know, I'm wasting y'all. I think God, y'all get the youngest and adopting Brother Dale Wood, Sister Donna. I said, God, why not me? But I kept praying. God, you said, I got there right now. I'll be fine. One already is. One's on the way. Okay? Just waiting on the salesman. Okay? The third one, we've got her. We don't know what's going to happen. But my point is, by rights, all three of them babies should have been drug addicted. Yeah. Because of something their mommy's done. Come on, buddy. God has healed the ball. Amen. The devil's trying to attack now on sickness through this revival, but I tell you this, God touched these babies. By right, they should have been drug babies. Yeah. But I serve for God. Come on. Okay, to fail. He said, go all the way to the end. Yeah. I hear on what you said. You said, don't give up. Keep praying. Come on. I said, God, you send them to me. Hey, I'm 61 years old. People say, why are you going to do that? These babies need a home. Amen. Amen. Right. I have nothing but love and honor. Amen. I take them all with you. I praise God for all the you for what He's given. Thank you, Jesus. Yes.
just want to give God some glory here because the other day Sister Teresa told me that she, when she tried to pray and stuff she couldn't cry she couldn't feel couldn't express that's a praise report right there thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus so not leaps and bounds like we think. Just watch it. Little by little they're growing. Before you know it, they're walking. Then they're talking. Then they're running. God's good to His church. I just want to give a real quick uh, praise report because I had uh, a lot of people pray about it. Uh, my dad got out of the hospital yesterday. He spent uh, two, two or three nights in there. But uh, he got out of the hospital yesterday morning, and they did put him on medication for a weak heart. But uh, it was Sister Jamie that gave me a verse uh, about that, but I, I forgot what it was. But anyways, the point is, is they might put him on medication, and they might claim that he has a weak heart, but I know he made that heart. And I know he had his strength in that heart, and I know he can make everything better. You know, I just thank him that, you know, it wasn't worse than just a weak heart. I mean, I know it's not just a weak heart, but he didn't have a heart attack. He didn't have open heart surgery or anything like that. He has a weak heart, which, you know, if Jesus don't decide to heal it, it's a weak heart. We, you know, we have weak, some people just have weak hearts just to live with their whole life. You know, and I'm just thankful that... That he just he did what he did for him, and, and that's what it is. The weak heart, and I think about uh, Daniel in Daniel about where he said, you know, but if you don't, but if you don't, I'm gonna love you anyway. But if you don't, I'm gonna praise you anyway. Come on, man. You know, because if, if he don't answer our prayers that we think that he should answer us, how we think we need to praise him anyway. We need to love him anyways because. He gave everything for, for us. Everything he had, he gave for us. Yes. And we need to give everything that we have to him because he first loved us and we got to yes. love him. Yeah. And I'm thankful for what he did. I'm thank, thankful for his prayers. And I thank everybody that prayed for my dad. Thank you, Jesus. church tomorrow night, Lord will be praying for us, and we'll be listening for that voice. I want to be listening for the voice of what God wants, so if you can, come out and be with us. If you have home church, go to home church. I ain't no sheep still. <laughs> They're his sheep anyway. Amen. But I understand we have different buildings, so if you do have a home church, I encourage you to go to home church. Because I I encourage and I want people to be at home church here. If I want them to be home church here and I tell them to be faithful, why do I want to steal you away from yours? It's different if pastor says let's go. That's right. Amen. As a whole. We used to do it a lot. We go as a whole. Yep. Amen. So, all right, we're going to say shake hands, show yourself friendly. Good night. God bless you in Jesus' name.